Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you on how we're going to take a volume and storage array in a Synology server and wipe the drives. Uh, the reason why I'm showing this video is because I've been getting a lot of responses on my YouTube channel on how to uh, safely secure uh, and wipe those drives um, with ones and zeros so they're basically unrecoverable even if a forensic expert uh, was able to get that drive he still won't be able to get any data off that um, so what we need to do first is open up a, a, our storage manager go to our volume section and remove the volume now of course you're doing this because you've either one backed up your data uh, two, you've already migrated that data off these drives or some, somewhere else because once we go through this process, there is no going back. So please keep that in mind while you're doing this. So as a precaution, Synology uh, OS will ask you for your password to remove the volume because uh, it's letting you know that it's going to delete anything that's off it. Um, if you have apps, uh, if you're on the surveillance station, shares, anything like that, it's going to be removing that. So, like I said, be cautious when you do this, and you're not going to be able to restore uh, that data back. So, make sure you ba always back up, always back up before you do anything like this. So, while this is removing, there's one more thing we have to do before we can start that process. We need to go to our storage pool. So, we're going to give this a couple more seconds here so you can remove this. All right, it is now removed. You can see it refreshed and it's gone. Now we need to go to our storage pool. So this is where we can see our, we got two drives only in this system. You're gonna wanna go to the remove tab. So remove that storage pool, hit yes. And as letting you know, it's deleting all this data. So please be aware of that. Wait for this to save and it's going to remove that storage pool. Basically, you could have multiple storage pools depending on how many drives you have. Like if you got eight drives, you could do four drives and four drives and then split them up that way. Okay, so you can see now that is removed. We can go now to our, the hard drive tab and you can see we still have our two drives listed here. You can go to each one and go to actions, then do secure erase. Now keep in mind when you click on this, it's not going to happen in five minutes, even a, in a half an hour. And you're looking at at least a two hour window or more depending on the drive size. This is, these are only one terabyte drives, so these are probably going to take, I don't know, two and a half hours or something like that. Maybe a little bit longer. Uh, so if you have four terabytes, I would times that by four because basically what it's going to be doing is writing ones and zeros to that drive, completely erasing that data and it actually gives you an expectation on how long it's going to take here which that's nice um, so you just check mark that hit delete it's asking for your administrator password once again because once you do this that data is going to be unrecoverable so we hit submit and you're going to want to do this for each drive you want to completely uh, erase now this is not the only way to do this um, if you have a tableau or um, an eraser, or even there's open source software out there that you can boot up a computer in a Linux uh, distro and wipe the drives that way. But to me, this is the easiest way to do that. Um, it is going to save you a lot of time, plus the drives are already in the Synology, so I mean, why not do that? So you can see the drive one is now erasing. Once that completes, then you can click on your drive two and do the same thing. Click on the drive actions and do secure erase and keep going until you wipe all the drives that you want.